Mistweaver and Drainer running Holy Paladin. What do you feel in terms of who came out ahead here, Vinruki? I'm not sure, but I think you're right. They definitely weren't expecting this particular matchup. I don't know who has the edge, honestly. I feel like the Paladin provides a lot of utility, especially with the Blessing of Protection. Blizzard's gonna be, have to be really careful. Immediately, Blessing of Sacrifice comes in from Drainer in order to keep Jamie alive. He's taking quite a bit of initial damage. Life Cocoon gets traded out by Looney as well as Zipai's under fire. And it looks to be that these two Elemental Shamans are gonna be the target of choice. Jamie and Zipai under fire very early on. I would say overall though, Zizon has used more cooldowns to stay alive, which puts them slightly behind but drainer bringing in that repentance crowd control can be a nice counter to the misweaver although he just seems to be struggling to simply heal at this point in the game and that's going to matter a lot more than getting crowd control if you just lose the game outright jamie's having a difficult time getting counter pressure but now is finally stabilized back to full health looney with that way of the crane they need to crowd control it as soon as possible who can lock down looney is now the question. Doesn't look like anyone can. He was able to get away of the crane off basically for free in that position. Drainer and Looney right next to each other. Looney engaging crowd control. And they try to back it up with some crowd control and Nerd Rage. Unfortunately, breaking it prematurely. So their setup is a little bit botched here from Wildcard Gaming. Touch of death available for Blizzo still. And in this position, that could be a deadly cooldown if Drainer is crowd controlled. We see Zizon leading an assault towards Zipai. Drainer looking Ooh. to secure crowd control. Perfect chain, although predicted by Dr or by Looney with the life cocoon absorbing damage onto Zipai. That prediction allows Zipai to easily sit through the longest crowd control chain Zizon has available both teams playing at the highest level yeah definitely if you look at mana looney actually was able to sit down recover some of that mana by drinking and that does give him a slight edge at this point but uh, the thing is drainer on that holy paladin he has a lot of mana efficiency especially when he's doing single target healing and one thing i've noticed about drainer is he is just not afraid to trade out cooldowns he's already used sacrifice he uses blessing and protection he uses divine shield he's just trading out he wants to stay ahead in this matchup and it, at this point, I mean, Zizon has a pressure edge, but he is running out of cooldowns very quickly. Oh, well, he's also cycling them together. Now, Blessing of Sacrifice available. After that, he'll have Avenging Wrath. If he can cycle it so he always has one cooldown available, the Holy Paladin strength is their cooldowns, almost guaranteed survival with just having one of them. So as long as he keeps cycling and not overlapping too many of them at the same time, I don't think that the strategy is gonna backfire too much. Big heal from Drainer, now looking for crowd control. He's been using Repentance on Blizzo, almost in a peculiar fashion, and they've been breaking it. The crowd control attempts from both teams, in my opinion, is sloppy. They could be a lot more clean. I think a, the double paralysis attempt that Looney and Blizzo can bring in is a very effective strategy, although now they're actually going after Drainer, trying to punish that cooldown usage from earlier. They know that he doesn't have a Divine Shield, so they can focus fire him Ooh. down and potentially find a kill. Blizzo is snaring Drainer in line of sight of z -Pi, but z -Pi gets clotheslined by Jamie, and now Blizzo hammers just just around the corner looney can't dispel him now in a full repentance looney needs to move over dispels that immediately getting him back into the fight trainer has survived that attack unscathed at this point blessing of sacrifice still available although another swap to drainer could be the end of his life curious when wildcard gaming decides to do that or even if they do do they have the courage to push forward and try and close the game out looney is crowd controlling drainer jamie is still the focus target although doing a good job stalling the pressure crowd controlling blizzo at the same moment that his healer was unable to heal so very well timed lightning lasso on jamie's part both teams stabilizing slight mana lead for looney at this point in the match and aside from that, cooldowns are still even. Yeah, cooldowns relatively even, and mana is relatively even as well. Both of these Windwalkers just relentlessly training down these Elemental Shaman. Who's going to get the pressure lead? Jamie Trinkets out of the Lightning Lasso, trying to get out of line of sight. Drainer in a good position to heal him up, but he's just out of line of sight. Bulls are doing a great job with high uptime, but that Divine Favor heal is just so potent. Jamie gets topped off, and uh, we have a bit of a reset on hit points. So Looney actually manages to sneak out of combat and drink once again, and that's one of the major differences in this matchup. If both Drainer and Looney haven't been drinking, Drainer would have a mana advantage, but Looney's been consistently able to get out of combat, reset his mana, and that's keeping his team in the fight. Yeah, Blizzo making a big push here with Touch of Death. How is Drainer gonna respond to the pressure? Avenging Wrath available, doesn't even look necessary. Lightning Lasso on Blizzo, and z is also stunned by Nerd Rage. So with the two damage dealers stunned and unable to 
commit damaging attacks. Very obvious that Zyzon will survive, so they hold on to cooldowns using crowd control to stall what could be a scary moment in the match. No significant errors yet from either team as we do get closer to dampening. Zyzon engaging crowd control, but now getting counter engaged on. Well done from Wildcard Gaming to flip this crowd control in their favor. Jamie on the run. Blizzo able to connect, but Zipai is having a difficult time. Zipai lining up Stormkeeper, a very powerful elemental shaman attack. As soon as he gets in the line of sight, he could blast somebody. And it looks like he actually wants to try and go after Drainer. Drainer, though, we've been maybe criticizing him for his cooldown usage, but he has cycled them very well to the point where now he is having them available again. And able to save mana because of the cooldown cycling as a result so i don't really blame him for the decision making so far blessing of sacrifice during this burst attempt from drainer once again and he is going to use his shield wall as well to reduce damage that's redirected to him i think that's well timed although does leave him open to a swap zizon with pressure on two members looney struggling yeah, all these lightning lassos this matchup's looking like a rodeo we're at six percent dampening Drainer on half health. He, like you said, he used his magic damage reduction earlier on. Now he's very susceptible. He gets interrupted. Big burst damage. Divine Shield at the last second. Very nice attempt by Wildcard Gaming, forcing out major defensive cooldowns. Drainer barely able to hold on. He needs to be really careful. Careful. Blizzle's been doing a really good job with that interrupt, the spear hand strike shutting him down and making those swaps really dangerous. Here's another attempt to take down Blizzo by Zyzon. Looney Crowd controlled. Blizzo interrupted. Blizzo using Fist of Fury and with the Honor Talent Turbo Fist can parry all attacks. So Nerd Rage instead of attacking into that rolls away from the Fist of Fury damage. Good reaction on Nerd Rage's part. Now going after z -Pi. Both Windwalkers pressuring, pressuring the respective elementals. Bit of a mistake for Drainer and Nerd Rage to stack up. Blizzo gets a two for one stun. Now Drainer in a lot of trouble with Lightning Lasso fully channeled. Drainer ducking for cover. Nice plus here protection denies the touch of death of Blizzo and the touch of karma. Blizzo actually in a tough spot right now. Yeah, he will survive with that life cocoon, but Jamie's still all over him. Lightning Lasso is going to be traded out. z with good backup. Drainer, though, if you look at his cooldowns, he's got nothing left. They just need one nice setup. Nerd Rage with touch of death has a huge opportunity to get some burst out. And you can see Blizzo, he's really vulnerable. He's got no touch of karma. He's got no trinket. If they can get him in a leg sweep, um, you know, into a lightning lasso, any sort of combination like that, he could be vulnerable. It still seems like z is their main target. Trainer gets paralysis. Jamie in a little bit of trouble trying to get out of line of sight. Blizzo all over him. Both these elemental shamans could potentially fall. Nice wind shear coming in from z on onto Drainer interrupting his repentance, backing up Looney just a little bit, but ultimately Drainer does manage to find that crowd control, and z could be in some trouble. I mean, both teams are in trouble at this point. Dampening keeps getting higher. The mana gets lower. Triple stun. Beautifully done by Blizzo. Perfect execution. That's the crowd control that I wanted to see earlier in the fight. Drainer barely holding on as a result. Zyzon cannot afford to make positional errors like that. If they stand together as three team members, an Elemental Shaman and a Windwalker will tear them apart. That costs Drainer the remainder of his defensive cooldowns. Now he's a wide open target. He's out in center field. z is looking to punish that. Now they can switch back to Jamie. Drainer doesn't have to, much to work with to recover through the pressure. Dampening is so high. Blizzo looks to close the game out. Full uptime on Jamie. Big damage with that Fist of Fury. Divine Favor available on Drainer. Needs to access that as soon as possible, but if he gets dispelled and wind sheared on it, he does. Perfect play by z -Pi. Looking like he's going to be able to take game number one. They disrupt the lightning lasso. Drainer, clutch hammer of justice, denies the kill on Jamie as he's holding out with very low health, but z -Pi has had enough, I do believe. Somehow, some way, Jamie's staying in it. Looney's trying to get into the fight as well. Add in a bit of extra damage to take Jamie down, but just refusing to die. Run, Jamie, run. He does manage to escape. Drainer connects the heels. Good kite by Jamie, keeping himself alive. That lightning lasso on to Blizzo. Had a line of sight. Definitely is what did it. But Jamie stabilizes. Now big leg sweep over on the Blizzo. Can they take him down? He has a trinket and touch of karma. Is there a blessing of protection available? Doesn't look like it. So he's going to be able to sit that quite comfortably at this point in the game. But Blizzo traded out every single defensive cooldown he has. Jamie just shreds through with the lightning lasso. And now Blizzo's in a lot of trouble. Life cocoon forced out by Looney. Not many cooldowns left, but the one thing Wild Card Game has going in their favor is so Looney actually has some mana, and he decides to get aggressive with the way of the crane. They want to close this game out right now. Oh, beautiful astral shift from Jamie right before being stunned. That reduces a significant amount of damage. If he didn't do that, he would literally be dead. He may still even be dead at this point in the game. Dampening so high. Ring of Pieces bouncing Jamie back into the fight constantly. 
on the run. Zero mana left, but Blizzo is susceptible to dying as well if Nerd Rage can stay on target. It's up to Nerd Rage to carry the team. Jamie's been under a lot of pressure. Looks like he's trying to make uh -oh, the bold move and push forward for the kill. Blizzo on the run. Wildcard Gaming on defense now. Suddenly, they've been in control of the fight for most of this time, but are now starting to struggle. At the same time, Drainer is having a rough time just healing through the 30% dampening. Nerd Rage needs to find a kill on Blizzo right now. Drainer's trying to add some damage to the mix as well. Blizzo denies the connect with Ring of Peace, but Jamie is still there. Big lightning bolts. Life Cocoon from Looney stalls it for now, but Looney is now completely out of mana, and this could be a cross-kill situation, Ben. It definitely could be. Jamie in a lot of trouble. He's getting low. I don't think he can get out of this one. Beautiful thunderstorm keeps Blizzo at bay, but z just tearing in. Busting a sacrifice does keep Jamie alive. Drainer's been doing a really good job rotating through his defensive cooldown. z in the meantime, also in a lot of trouble. Are they going to be able to take him down? Jamie could fall. z could oh. fall. Like you said, this could easily be a cross kill. z still low. Lightning Wait. Lasso barely holding on. Drainer chasing him. He knocks him away. Still, z could easily fall. He gets Spear Hand Strike, and now we're going to a 2v2. I feel like Drainer is the one who's too far behind. There's so many cooldowns for Looney. Drainer's trying to run, but Blizzo's all over him. He doesn't have a lot to work with. One Divine Favor gets Paralysis on it. Can they stop the heal? No, he gets the Holy Light. Drainer on the run, but he's got nothing. As long as Blizzo just stays on Drainer, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to stay alive. Dampening so high, zero mana left. Looney could probably easily sneak away and drink. Blizzo has more than enough defense to trade to get full mana, and whichever healer gets mana in this position oh, is going to no. have the advantage. And it looks like Looney, Nerd Rage knows that. He's trying to stop it. He misses the Ring of Peace. Looney repositioned and Anticipating his denial. Looney is getting sips, I believe. His mana going up. Drainers is not. He's he's ring a piece against the wall. Blizzo pinning him on his aura mastery, <laughs> preventing the holy light. He holds on, but trinkets out. Oh! Oh. The heal in time with one second left, battling it out to the bitter end. But if we look at Looney's mana, that's just saying game over. Yeah, it definitely is. But Trainer, four seconds left, three seconds left on that blessing of protection. Can he get it off? Is he going to go for the greedy play on the Holy Light? He does with the Avenging Wrath. Does manage to keep himself alive. That ring of peace was so beautiful. Ooh, touch of karma. Get blessing of protection. Drainer, Repentance. he managed to hold on. He gets the crowd control into Looney. Now Blizzo's in a scary situation. But that preemptive life cocoon from Looney onto Blizzo keeps him alive in wildcard gaming. They just have such an edge at this point. I mean, Blizzo doesn't have any cooldowns. Oh, Looney, they needs, can to, take it Looney down. needs to power heal right now. He's doing it. They don't have any crowd control. Looney just channeling Soothing Mist. Blizzo looks like he's chilling with those heals. He's killing two members of the team at the same time. Perhaps should focus fire a bit more. Ring of Peace onto Drainer again, pinning him against the pillar. Gladiator's Maledict attempt. Drainer has no mana left. He's on the run, doing whatever he can to stay alive long enough for Nerd Rage to find the kill goes for the holy light with one percent left stunned right That's at the tail it. end but this should easily be ko for drainer he hammers looney to try and give nerd rage an opportunity perhaps and pull back the series all right let's see what they can do elimination tournament lives on the line and winning the blind pick can be very important in a series where both teams have such a diverse roster of compositions Nerd Rage is leading the assault here, forcing two defensive cooldowns from Wildcard Gaming for only one offensive cooldown. So that is a good exchange for Zyzon early on. And we kind of talked about Drainer in that last game, his cooldown usage on the Holy Paladin, and it's really good. You can trade out those cooldowns to stay ahead in the matchup. Actually, a talent change here for Looney. He's decided to go the Song of Chi G. So he has a casted crowd control similar to Repentance that he can use. He can move in. He can get the paralysis into that Song of Chi G, into a stun. It's a really long crowd control chain that the Mistweaver Monk has. Don't often see them use it, but I guess he wants that opportunity to move in and sort of pressure Drainer. Like, if Drainer's going to be moving in looking for those Hammer of Justice Repentance, Luna can easily just turn that around on his head. Yeah, the Song of Chi G, not a talent that we see very often. One so much so that I'm, I, I believe that it, you can use Tremor Totem to remove the crowd control effect, so if so, Jamie definitely needs to look for that. z still being pressured down. I would say overall the momentum is much higher right now from Zyzon in Game 2. They've been forcing cooldowns left, right, and center. Also building a pretty decent mana lead so far as well. So perhaps just stepping up their overall play, polishing their rotations, maximizing their damage to try and overcome the loss that they got in Game number 1, which was so close towards the end. Looney crowd controlled. Good double stun by Nerd Rage. Perfect setup here by Zyzon. On. Jamie on the run. Beautiful lightning lasso right out of line of sight of z -Pi, so he cannot interrupt him. And now avoiding death and looking to turn the pressure around. z -Pi falling behind. Yep, and there's a really good backup there from Jamie. On to Drainer. Nerd Rage getting low.
but as Looney moved in to get the paralysis into the Song of TG, Jamie was there. He got the wind shear off, and that allowed Drainer a moment to get out of crowd control, turn the crowd control back onto Looney with the Hammer of Justice into a Repentance. So a lot of this matchup and a lot of the crowd control these healers have can be shut down by these Elemental Shamans. So if you can look for that during the game, it's going to be significant. All right, Jamie and Nerd Rage are falling behind with crowd control secured onto Drainer by Looney. He is the, the reason why Jamie and Nerd Rage are so low on health right now. And Drainer is struggling to recover. They have to exchange that Astral Shift from Jamie. So he will be vulnerable. Although now at this moment in time, Nerd Rage is ramping up for a big hit on the Z-Pi. Let's see how he responds. Half his health gone. Looney just immediately healing him back up though. So that touch of death, not too high value. Jamie has Stormkeeper rolling. So his next two Lightning Bolts are going to be very big. And I'm curious to see where he allocates them. He's actually just under pretty big fire and not able to use them. Blessing of Sacrifice forced from Drainer and Wildcard Gaming are battling back, evening out the mana and actually getting ahead on cooldowns. Yeah, Looney into Paralysis. It looks like Drainer actually wanted to go for Repentance there, but a beautiful wind shear from Z-Bi denies. What is Z-Bi going to be able to do? He's low on health right now. Good pressure here for Zyzon. If we look at mana, Looney is behind. So this is what I'm talking about. At this moment in the game, oh. where Zyzon really needs to focus. I mean, Drainer getting bursted down, having to use that Divine Shield. But if they want to continue a mana lead in this matchup, they really need to keep a close eye on Looney during these moments. I think Looney may be trying to sit down for a drink right now. Who's in position to deny it? They're definitely not going to be able to find a drink. Looney dealing some damage to Nerd Rage while he's lightning lassoed, but could get Repentance. It's beautifully done by Drainer. Good timing, seeing Looney push forward and aggressive. Now they can crowd control Looney for an extended period of time. Maybe get a kill into Z-Pi or Blizzo. Z-Pi realizing his healer is crowd controlled is just avoiding the fight. Uses Grounding Totem to deny the Gladiator's Maledict, but Nerd Rage goes for a follow-up. Looney dispels that. They need the third Gladiator's Maledict, but it doesn't look like they have it, so Z-Pi will easily survive. Ring of Peace bouncing Drainer once again. I can only imagine that that is probably tilting him after the first game, getting punted into the side of the wall. So Drainer definitely going to be looking to avoid potentially standing next to pillars when he's low health so he doesn't get pinned down by the double monk combo. Jamie under some pressure right now as Drainer sits through crowd control. Although now, as I say, that Zyzon continue back and swing back in favor, pressuring z -Pi. The teams are just so evenly matched. I mean, in almost every single regard, the only person falling a bit behind is Drainer and Wildcard Gaming see that weakness. Yeah, Drainer going to focus down. Looney's going to take this opportunity to sneak away. This is really important. If he can reset his mana at this particular point in the game, Wildcard Gaming is going to have a massive advantage. Not sure he's actually going to be able to do it. He's sitting down right now. We'll have to see if he's able to get any ticks. It takes a little while before that mana starts regenerating while you sit down and drink. Drainer doing a decent job with his mana as well. He's going to be kiting away to the large pillar on Ashamane's fall. Bozo with a leg sweep, getting decent pressure here onto Jamie but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to take him down at the moment. Both teams relatively even in terms of pressure. Yeah, Blizzo has good defensive cooldowns available, so unlikely that we see him go down unless Drainer has a Blessing of Protection, which at this time it doesn't look like he does. z -Pi getting attacked. He trades Astral Shift while his healer is crowd controlled. I think that's a fair exchange on his part. He can then easily survive for Looney to get out of crowd control and continue healing. I'm imagining that deeper into dampening, if Looney can maintain a mana advantage, that this will almost certainly be their main win condition. For Zyzon, how do they win then? It is to get crowd control on Looney and then execute burst damage onto Z-Pi. If they can achieve this before deep dampening and before Drainer is out of mana, then they will win. Perhaps they can. This is decent damage on Z-Pi, but there's no crowd control. Drainer falling a bit behind, but connects a big heal. Has Avenging Wrath up. This increases his healing, so when he's glowing with those wings next to the Tiger statue, it means his healing spells are amplified. Unlikely that any of his team members will die during this moment in time unless he is interrupted on his heals, which he actually fake cast at Z-Pi, so he is not interrupted, easily healing through the damage. Trying to push forward for crowd control, but walks into a double leg sweep and then a paralysis as well on his human racial to break out of the stun. That was good denial, but Drainer is crossing. Drainer wants to get crowd control. He needs that Hammer of Justice and Repentance to find a kill. They're going for maybe for the Gladiator's Maledict play. Hammer of Justice, Repentance. They get denied on the Repentance. Good teamwork there from Z-Pi with a wind shear. Drainer still trying to push forward, but the more time he spends moving, this is the thing about Holy Paladins is they don't heal a lot while they're moving, but he has to move to get crowd control, so his team will start falling behind on health, and if he doesn't make the move, then he'll just fall behind on mana, so it is a tough decision and difficult to execute on, but if Drainer can do it, then they will be able to achieve victory. Looney pushes forward for crowd control, and they get cross with the elemental stun of Z-Pi. Interesting adaptation. Jamie could be in a bit of trouble here. Very low on health. 
Trainer has cooldowns available, but wants to rotate them one at a time and not overlap, so he's trying to take the frugal route, only using the aura mastery, but that's not a very significant defensive cooldown, so he may not get away with it. Paralysis, and they purge off the Divine Favor. Nice teamwork there from Wildfire uh -oh. Gaming. That puts Drainer even further behind. Yeah, Jamie with a nice thunderstorm. He's been doing a good job knocking the Fists of Fury of Blizzo, which is most of his damage, but I don't know if it's going to matter. Jamie trying to just soak up a lot of this damage in. Ghost Wolf healing himself up. Drainer in a good position, getting some heals in as well. Jamie does manage to stabilize. Now with Z-Buy under pressure. Jamie moving in, trying to get some additional damage out. Paralysis now onto Looney. Is Z-Buy going to fall? He doesn't have the Astral Shift, but Life Cocoon easily trades out for Looney. And that should keep Z-Buy alive. And now the pressure's turning around onto Jamie. All right, can Drainer recover? He's got Avenging Wrath. I think that they should look to make a push to kill z -Pi. He's limited on defense. Drainer sees it, makes the push, but they switch targets, or at least Jamie is just trying to attack Blizzo. At this point in time, z -Pi would have been the most vulnerable, but he realized that and stood in a position that made it impossible for Jamie to attack him. Now overextending Nerd Rage and potentially finding a kill on him. That was a good bait by z -Pi. He knew he was the most vulnerable target, so he went into a position where the enemy team would have to compromise their positioning and then actually turned the tables in his own odds, and now Nerd Rage is behind. Nice positioning, although z -Pi is still just taking a beating right now. Thunderstorm onto two members. Drainer gets the repentance, sneaks it through around the corner. z -Pi on the run, dampening now at 20%. Mana still in favor of Wildcard, but momentum in favor of Zyzon. Cooldown exchanged, but that punish on Nerd Rage once again. Beautifully done. He's on the run. Great transcendence portal, but Looney's on top of him. We do see the song of Chi Gi fake nice casted. Fake. The Divine Shield Sacrifice. Drainer immunes the crowd control with Divine Shield. Uses Blessing of Sacrifice to redirect damage to himself. And while Divine Shield is active, he doesn't take any of the redirected damage. So a very efficient combination of cooldowns. This allows Drainer to stay healthy and deep dampening, which would be otherwise almost impossible to heal back up through. Blizzo falling a bit behind as we see Touch of Karma forced to be Touch of death. there. Touch of Death about to go off. Drainer with no real options. And Nerd Rage is just That's left out it. in midfield. Taken down. Beautiful positioning from z -Pi. Baiting team can remove that. They have Repentance from Drainer to use on Looney. They can crowd control two members and then focus fire Blizzo and try and either just force him away constantly, keep him on the defensive so he can't build any pressure, or eventually kill him. I'm not uh, on the side of the, this composition being the worst option for Zyzon. If they focus the Destruction Warlock, then Jamie is left open. If they open, they go on Jamie, then Mercy is left open. So there are two threats. Blade's Edge, an interesting choice. Although they are making some errors, standing on top of each other against two monks is definitely a mistake. Trainer and Mercy both getting stunned as a result, but no significant punish just yet. This is usually the standard when facing a Warlock and a Shaman on Blade's Edge is that you try and hide for cover under the bridge. But if Z-Pi, or sorry, if Jamie and Mercy have good positioning like this, Mercy on one side and Jamie on the other, you simply can't hide from one of them. They pin down Looney. They're going after the healer with a pretty aggressive stance. Mercy and down to about half health, but not finding the kill. Now Mercy falling behind as a result. Wildcard Gaming begin their counter engagement. Yeah, Mercy under fire, and I'm actually on the side of this not being a good option for Zyzon. I don't think it's going to work out. I think Mercy is just way too vulnerable on the Destruction Warlock. And I also feel like Wildcard Gaming, they shouldn't be too afraid to play up top. The thing is, they have two ring apiece. With Blizzo and Looney, they can easily abuse Mercy, knocking him off the bridge, putting him in unideal un positions where Blizzo can chase, and z can put out significant damage. So... I might. I don't even know if I like the positioning down low for the team of Wildcard Gaming. Initially, they just used it because they wanted to sort of wait out the Infernals and the Dark Soul. But moving forward, I really wouldn't mind them playing a little bit more aggressive up top. You can see Mercy already taking tons of damage. Blessing and Protection forced out quite early. Denying the touch of death of Blizzo, but now not an option to remove touch of karma. So unlikely that Blizzo will be the target. They've been bouncing back between Looney and z -Pi, which was something that I didn't anticipate. They've been actually getting a lot of fears on Looney earlier on. z -Pi tried to tremor, but was out of range. So Looney will sit a lot of crowd control as a result of that mistake in terms of positioning. Mercy getting ring of peace off the side. Jamie getting focus fired as Mercy is not able to support. They stack up once again, but Mercy is responding with a triple shadow fury of his home own stalling the damage there for a few moments during the burst attempt of wild card gaming drainer getting switched to a tad bit but no significant pushes i would say right now currently z -Pi is in the most trouble in the match so wild card gaming need to look to prepare to save him jamie though 
being attacked. Has to use Astral Shift to reduce the damage. Still taking quite a bit of pre connects a big heal there from Drainer. Going back to full health almost immediately. Drainer engage crowd control. This is the moment in time that z is most vulnerable. How is he going to survive? They don't get further crowd control. It's, is Drainer even running the Repentance? I'm wondering at this point. z is still at low health, but Ring of Peace denies them from their pursuit. And the map does, I believe, going it's going to backfire on them against the Double Monk. The Ring of Peace just zoning the ramp knocking them off the side. Usually in the past, before monks were really in the arena, before the class was even in the game, warlocks and elemental shamans loved this map because they could use the demonic circle portal up and down the bridge, use the thunderstorm off the side, but monks have portals themselves and knockbacks, so it's not really that advantageous. It's a very risky map, especially to pick when you're on match points, so Zizon perhaps could have gone for a better map if they really wanted to try and run this composition something where they would be more susceptible to not being knocked off of the Z axis. I don't even think that Mercy is running the Demonic Circle, so he's not going to be getting that advantage, the Mortal Coil. I think the map could certainly backfire. No openings just yet now with Z-Pi's Astral Shift rotated back up and available, and it's looking to be like another situation where mana is the main focus of the game, and Looney has a lead. Look at Drainer. He's trying to position far away to go for a drink. Blizzo immediately chases him, uses the crackling J Lightning to keep him in combat. Now it's Jamie that's under fire, sort of baiting Blizzo behind the pillar. Lightning Lasso, going to wrangle him up and do some damage at this point in the game. But Jamie should be able to stabilize Drainer in a good position with the Divine Favor. Connects a big Holy Light. Paralysis gets traded out by Blizzo. Jamie's still under a little bit of pressure, but I think it's unlikely he falls at this point in the game. And as the game moves forward, if we do make it to a point in dampening, I feel like wildcard gaming will even get a bigger edge. I feel like Mercy, a lot of his self-healing is going to get negated by that, and I think he's just such an easy target for Blizzo to have high uptime on. I really feel like Looney and Blizzo could be doing a better job with the Ring of Peace, sort of denying this positioning from Mercy, but it really doesn't seem to matter too much. Big attack incoming from wildcard gaming. Drainer there to respond with Avenging Wrath, getting huge heals out, stopping the team. Looks like Zizon are switching targets. They're going after Blizzo a bit. He's going to use the Fortifying Bruce so that he can just stay on Mercy, push forward, and try and get more defensive cooldowns. Although it's not typical to make a push when the Holy Paladin has Avenging Wrath up. Although if he's crowd controlled, it is a good opportunity, and he currently is by Looney with that leg sweep. Doesn't look like any more follow up, though, and Drainer staves the team with one second left on the Avenging Wrath. Blizzo falling a bit behind in the Lightning Lasso. I do think that Hex could be abused a lot more. Finally, a Hex on Z-Pi. This is what I would have liked to have seen in terms of strategy for crowd control. They can just crowd control Z-Pi for eight seconds at any moment in the fight, combo it with Lightning Lasso at, on Blizzo. And if they take control and single target Blizzo, I think that's their best way to find a victory. They can hold all three members in a stun lock, and if they're coordinated enough, eventually Blizzo won't have a way to escape, and I could see them finding a kill through that route. If they engage like they just did earlier more frequently, I think they could pull it off. But if they continue to play the old style of Elemental Shaman Warlock, where you just kind of attack anything out in the open to maximize your damage, I think that Wildcard Gaming's composition will almost never lose to that strategy. Yeah, they're just really durable. All three of them have self-healing, and of course, Looney on that Mystery Monk is a very efficient healer, especially, uh, you know, in the early stages of the game. Finally, some significant pressure being generated here for Wildcard Gaming as Mercy does get a little bit low. Blizzo getting really aggressive. Double Mortal Foil coming out. Mercy trying to play a little bit of defense. Can he set anything up? The thing is, Zizon, they're getting, I mean, they're surviving, but they're not really getting any sort of significant setups. No one's really been in trouble at any point for Wildcard Gaming. And... Like I said, as the game moves on, I feel like that consistent damage coming in from the Windwalker Monk with that mortal wounds effect from the Rising Sun Kick, reducing healing, I think they're just going to continue to develop an advantage. Jamie looking for crowd control to stall some pressure out, trying to land the Hex. Not able to find it. Looney is stunned right now. Both teams in a bit of trouble. Drainer, what are you going to do? Blessing of Sacrifice on very low health, so Mercy stays alive. Drainer recovers. Close call. A significant cooldown forced from the side of Zizon as Dampany is now at 10%. There's a gigantic mana lead. They are on match point, and they face elimination. They need to start making more clean setups. They have to play for setup. There's absolutely no way that they can win on damage or win on pressure. As he said, they don't bring in the Mortal Strike effect, and Looney likely running the counteract magic is amplifying his renewing mist, so he is able to heal targets very easily through consistent damage. Zizon have to play off crowd control, burst, and setups. Blizzo anticipated here that he would be the target and actually just threw away his touch of karma because Z-Pi was the target. Perhaps an opening. Zizon getting some good burst here off of Blizzo's 
preemptive move that wasn't necessary. Well, Drainer, is he sitting down for a drink? He's not able to get too much mana. He's actually still significantly behind. z finally getting hexed, at least to slow down the game, but it would be better if it was coordinated at the same time with Lightning Lasso on Blizzo. This way, z can't interrupt Lightning Lasso. He can't heal. He can't support. He can't stop anything. And then if Looney's Hammer of Justice, that crowd control situation is where they can win. But at this point, they're so far behind. They've been so sloppy in their attempts. They're just kind of doing damage at this point and trying to win off of pressure. Perhaps they can. I mean, you can never count an Elemental Shaman out, but it's I certainly don't think it's their best strategy. Astral Shift forced from z -Pi, along with Live Cocoon. They're at least keeping some cooldowns off the board from Wildcard Gaming, but Drainer, is, he's so limited on his options right now for a significant amount of time. Blizzo feared away by Mercy, dispelled instantly. Looney's in a confident lead. I mean, Wildcard Gaming are looking like they're going to take the sweep at this point. Yeah, it's looking good for them. I really want to see Blizzo, z and Looney uh, use the Ring of Peace, use the Thunderstorm more often on Mercy, get him in unideal positions where Drainer can't heal him as easily, and just some avoid that damage. Finally, z is going to be using a Thunderstorm, knocking him down low, and this is what they can do consistently in this matchup. Uh, the Warlock does not have much mobility, especially when he's not running that Demonic Circle, which m most really don't. We're at 22% dampening. Mercy does get topped off. Drainer with his Avenging Wrath, sort of the last line of defense he has. I mean, he has the Blessing of Protection, the Blessing of Sacrifice, but his throughput and healing is not going to be that high after that cooldown fade. z getting bursted down just a little bit. Looney kind of struggling, but I think he sat down for a drink. So although z that was a bit of a scary moment, Looney was able to recover a lot of his mana, giving Wildcard Gaming even further edge as the game goes on. Touch of get Death gets traded out by Blizzo. Is he going to be able to take down Mercy? He gets the blessing and protection. It's great safety there from Drainer in order to keep him alive. It completely negates that touch of death cooldown and keep him healthy. But slowly but surely, Wildcard Gaming working through some of those defensives. The consistent pressure coming in from Blizzo on Mercy is starting to really show its significance. Zipai reversing some pressure, but Drainer's there to save the day. Divine favor. Mercy now getting swapped to, bursted down, and I mean, Devaney's at 28%, and look at Drainer's mana, it's basically a sliver. He's going to be out and tapped totally here, and it's match point. They can't afford to lose. They're running out of time. They have to make something happen, but it's actually Wildcard Gaming that looked to be the team making something happen. Crowd controlling both Jamie and Drainer, interrupting Drainer's heals. Drainer tries to go for the play to win the game. He stuns Looney up. They drop in the Infernals from Mercy. If Mercy doesn't find a kill on these set of Infernals, I don't think that Zizon will ever find a kill in this match. z is running away from Mercy downstairs. Line of sight EM on the bottom of the bridge. Max ranging the Warlock. He knows this is their only opportunity. They have to avoid the Destruction Warlock at all costs. As soon as the Infernals are over, they can safely push forward. They've got so much more mana. They've got so much more defensive cooldown. So don't risk it. Don't take the gamble with those Infernals down. They're going to be fading shortly. And as they do, I can only imagine that their hopes of staying alive in the tournament fade with them. Divine Favor dispelled instantly by z -Pi. z -Pi on fire this game removing any sort of recovery options for Drainer. He's two seconds away. Blessing of Sacrifice on basically 0% health. Drainer is praying right now that he can recover. It looks like Drainer's pulling off a miracle to give his team any sort of opportunity. Perhaps they can make it happen. Drainer gets swapped to by z -Pi, but with Avenging Wrath, if he can even get one Holy Light, he's likely to go back to full health. They're going for some Gladiators Maledix onto z -Pi. They're trying to punish him for being overextended, pull off a potential miracle. All three members of the team in a lot of trouble. Drainer now with absolutely nothing left. No mana and no cooldowns. All he's got are his prayers to stay alive in the tournament at this point. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Jamie, 10% hit points, trying to run away, trying to throw in some healing surges, but at 37% dampening, I think Blizzo is going to be able to take him down. Drainer trying to do anything he can with the Hammer of Justice. Full Hex on Blizzo. Blizzo can't believe it. He's saying, die, Jamie, die. Finally takes him down in Wildcard Gaming in the driver's seat. Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history, the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.